The next button we're going to take a look at here in the viewport toolbar is the lock selected actors to camera button. It's located right next to the lock viewport button. The purpose of the lock selected actors to camera button is to take a selected object and allow you to move it around with the camera. If you think about it, when you're moving objects around, so let's say you walk over here to this pillar and you think, you know what, this pillar needs to be lifted up into the air. So I grab my translation widget and I slide it up. That's kind of like moving an object with your mind. In the real world, you would have to walk over to that object and actually lift it up. And that's kind of how the lock selected actors to camera button works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick on this little tiny pedestal mesh that's right here at the end of the stairwell. And to make it really easy to see what's going on, I'm going to move the top view around so it's also looking at the same little pedestal mesh. So, down here in perspective, I'm going to, with this mesh selected, notice I do have it selected, I'm going to click on Lock Selected Actors to Camera, and then I'm just going to start to move the camera just a little bit and watch really closely what happens. If we take a look up here in the top view, our mesh has jumped to the location of my view. Now to really make it clear, I'm going to switch over to real time mode up here in the top viewport and watch. As I rotate the camera, that mesh is following my camera around. So I could just fly my camera to wherever I needed this mesh to go. When I'm done, when I have the thing pretty much where I think I need it, I can switch off lock selected actors to camera. And let's just make sure we follow this guy over here in the top view. So as soon as I switch this off and I slide back, that's where the mesh is placed. Now that's one way that you can use this tool. So you'll notice the workflow that I did was I selected the object, I clicked lock selected actors to camera and then I moved the camera and that'll make the object pop to the location of the camera. So if you move the camera first, the object will jump to the camera. However, there's another way to use it too. If we jump into the mode, so if we click lock selected actors to camera and then click on the object, we actually pop the camera to the location of the object. So it just depends on which way you want to go. If you'd like the object to come to you, then just move the camera and it'll jump right to you. If you want to take the camera to the location of the object, then click on the object and it'll jump the camera right there. Now, not to get too far ahead of ourselves, there is one place where this is really, really useful. I'm going to jump out of here. We'll just kind of leave that pedestal floating. One of the primary places that I use this tool is in the positioning of cameras for matinee sequences. So to really make this clear, what I'm going to do is bring in a camera. So I'm going to click on the Open Content Browser button. Actually, you know what? I don't want you to look for a button right now. Let's just go up to the View menu because that's easier. We'll go to Browser Windows, and I'm going to come down to Actor Classes. Now, inside the Actor Classes list, you're going to see Camera Actor. I'm just going to click that and then close the Actor Classes browser. And with that selected, I can right-click here inside the Perspective View, and here on the floor, we can choose Add Camera Actor here. Don't accidentally click Replace with Camera Actor. That would be bad. Click Add Camera Actor here, and we get a little camera. Now, I can move this camera wherever I want. So I can use the little Move widget. I can tap Space Bar and grab the Rotation widget, and I can rotate the camera around. But this is kind of like aiming a camcorder from across the room. It's very difficult to get an idea of what this camera is looking at. And this is one of the great places where Lock Selected Actors to Camera really shines. So if I click Lock Selected Actors to Camera and then click on this camera, we've jumped our viewport's camera into exactly what this camera is seeing. So I can now just use my viewport controls. And let's say I want to come out here to this dock. And I want to get a really nice shot of this dock. So we're going to kind of get up into the air, get a nice three-quarter view where we could watch a player spawn in or something. When I'm finished, click Lock Selected Actors to Camera again and pull back and take a look. That camera is pointed exactly where I need it to be. So that's a quick look at the Lock Selected Actors to Camera button. Again, useful for moving objects around using your viewport's camera. I use it the most when I'm actually positioning cameras for a matinee sequence. And that is going to wrap this video up. Yes. <laughs>